One rail. The one rail, rail sweep surface is a dependent sub-object. We're going to create a one rail sweep surface and we're going to need a minimum of two curves. So let's put those curves in. We're going to go up to create. We're going to go to NURBS. We're going to put a point curve in. I'm going to put the, the curve that's going to be the edge. And this is my edge. Okay, just one of them will define the edge. And I now need another curve. And so I'm going to go to create and NURBS. Uh, and I'll go with a point curve and it has to be attached so I'm going to turn on my toggle here and pick on to my end point and you can see here and I'm going to finish that curve off there and so my other end is my cross section now now that I have my cross section and my edge I can go and choose I'll select on my rail which is my edge and I'm going to go up to the modify tab and I'm going to scroll down and go to create surfaces I'm going to go with a one rail and I'm going to pick uh, uh, pick the curve for the rail first then I'm going to pick the curve for the cross section and it builds the shape all right. Now, let's take a look at this. I'm going to turn off my toggles here. Let's take a look at this in, let's say, a um, hidden line. You can see that it's building that shape all throughout the object. Um, and uh, I'll go consistent colors or maybe go shaded here. That's kind of hard to see, isn't it? Let's put some facets and uh, let's put it into hidden line. Yeah, let's put it in hidden line. I think that's easiest to see. And you can see then I created this shape. It's a blend between the rail and the cross section. And it forms this surface. But the key is the cross section and the rail must be touching each other. And so this is known as the one rail uh, sur sweep surface.